Hey, Kimberly Ann, I uh, got your uh, video and uh, all of your work here. And uh, so uh, your retopology is fine. You probably went a little bit heavier than you needed to. And if you look really close, you see an, you've got an area right here uh, that is bad, all right? Needs to be fixed. So you would want to delete uh, some polygon, this whole polygon right here. So I, I went ahead and duplicated it here. And um, just to show you, I went ahead, I, I, I'm not going to do it, but I've got the undo history here. You can see I went ahead and uh, just went it. Uh, hold on, let me turn this one off first. All right. So, yeah, I just went ahead and deleted those, that face right there on both of those. All right. And this one here, too. All right. I just deleted those using the Z modeler brush. All right. The Z modeler brush will allow you to delete faces. Um, B, Z, M, Z modeler. And you can hover over a polygon and, you know, delete a single poly or whatever you want. So I deleted all of that and then uh, went ahead and filled it in. And it took me a few tries to get it right. But right there I filled it in and then I just adjusted some of the uh, geometry right around here. <clears throat> I didn't have my symmetry on. I should have. Uh, but I just kind of smoothed this out. You can see on this side, this is where I fixed that uh, polygon, and it's got a little bit of a rise right there, so I fixed it. All right. I didn't have my symmetry on. I should have, but there you go. All right. And uh, so then what you'd have to do with this guy now is reproject it because you lose all of your subdivision levels when you do that. So you'd have to reproject it, but I wouldn't reproject it against uh, this guy right here. Um only because he's got the bad geo geometry. You'd want to project it against the original high-res model. Okay. Uh, another thing, too, I just want to point out. Uh, you, did, you did this absolutely right, you know, except for that little, and you can see that little bobble right there. Okay. Uh, and you probably divided it one time more than you needed to. Just saying, you got to watch your poly count. It gets a, it'll, you know, from seven to eight, it's going from three million to fourteen million. So that's a huge jump. You just want to keep an eye on that. I'm, I'm guessing that even because you had a level one of uh, almost nine hundred polygons. Um, I had a level one of about three hundred polygons, and I only needed to go up to level seven. So with nine hundred polygons, I'm guessing you could have probably gone up to about seven as well. You'd have three million. If you went to six, you'd only have uh, a million, right? So seven about right. Eight seems a little high, but you know that's that's not a huge deal. You just have to, when it starts getting high like that, you're gonna start, you know, it's gonna start slowing down on you. So you just gotta watch your poly count. All right. So um, that looks good. Your fiber mesh is excellent. All right. Uh, no problems there. One thing I will show you that I don't think I showed in the video, up here under brush. If you come down here, there is a fiber mesh palette. And right now, if I use the move brush, you know, I can, uh, I can, like, let me see here. It's not letting me do it now, of course. But normally you can, oh, I know why. Okay. Because I've got this set. See, on my move brush, here, normally it's at zero. And then with your move brush, you can stretch the stuff out. But what I wanted to show you right here is with my move brush selected, preserve length all the way up to 100. Now I can move this stuff around without um, stretching it. Okay, so that might be one thing that you might want to at least know about. And um, you can also play around with some of this other stuff down here. It's kind of fun. Uh, forward. And, and if you hold control, it'll explain to you exactly what it is. So you can just uh, hover over it, hold control, and, right, and it'll tell you, uh, you know, what it does. So those things are fun to play with when you're doing um, X-Gen here. All right. So those are fine. Uh, your main model. Now, I want to say I, I did look at your uh, render for uh, your integrated here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, your skull. Okay. So this is there's a problem with this in that it's uh, over... Uh, this, the displacement is overdone, okay? Now, here's the problem I have. Um, it's not anything you did. It's a setting inside of RenderMan. And I just want you to see this right here as well. You can see uh, that little area where you had that little 
problem with the extra geo, you see that that gets rendered. Okay. So, um, but there's a, a setting in RenderMan called gain um, that you need to adjust to, to to knock this down a little bit. Now, here's the problem: you and I have different versions of RenderMan. I have the most current version of RenderMan, all right? So if you go to RenderMan about, I have this 22.1 version. I, and I suspect you have an earlier version because I am unable to do anything <laughs> with your model, all right? Right here, I've got your bike model. You can see uh, when I go into uh, perspective, all right, this is what I see. All of your lights are solid. So to be honest with you, I just downloaded this the other day, and, I, and it is a lot different. Like, I can't even straighten the camera out here. I don't even know. I'm not even sure how you did this here, but I can't even straighten the camera out to level it. <clears throat> so, and I have to, like, hide this guy right here. Uh, Control H, all right? Um, so, I'm having a hard time, like, recreating your render. I, uh, again, RenderMan, the newest RenderMan, uh, which I recommend you do not download until you have time to study it. Um, I made the mistake of downloading it and going into lecture yesterday and trying to show it. And then when I opened it up, I was like, oh my God, it's completely different. It's, there's, uh, nothing is working. Nothing works the same way it did before. Completely different. So, um, so please don't update in the middle of a project. Uh, what I did notice was this guy right here, you're, this is where you're having the problem. And I looked at the UVs on it. And uh, so I think my uh, thinking on this is, all right, and again, I'm having a hard time maneuvering in here. You've got this big piece here, top and bottom, right? Uh, and you've got, I'm going to be honest with you, you've got some kind of weird uh, UVs on this. So let me just go to the UV editor. Okay. And... Uh, Yeah, so you've got these strips. Here we go. All right. So you've got these little strips for this guy here. I guess it's top, bottom, sides, and ends. All right, that's what it looks like. All right. Uh, now, you can make this a lot easier on yourself, right, for one thing. So one thing I noticed about this, too, is, so let me back up. Just do a top piece. You don't need the bottom and you don't need the sides. No one's going to see it. All right, so just do one strip so that you have just one piece of uh, UV. All right, so you flatten it out and it's just one solid piece. Okay, um, the problem you're having in the render that you showed me is the same thing that's happening with the um, uh, skull. It's the, the gain setting. So let me see if I can find it. Also, too, one other thing on this guy here. All right, see now. In the previous version of uh, RenderMan, you would go to the Shape node, you would go to Attributes, and then you would turn on RenderMan for your smoothing algorithm. In the new RenderMan, you go to the Shape node, and you scroll down here till you see Subdivision Surface, and then you've got to turn this on to Catmull Clark. So you don't have uh, this, as far as I can tell, you didn't have this set to a smoothing algorithm, all right? So that could have been part of the reason you were seeing the splits in it, all right? Also, once you have this, now let me just see if I can, again, it's, it's a lot different, so I don't know if I can duplicate this or not, but let me just see here. Um, I'm looking at the uh, hypershade. I've got this over here, all right? So uh, let me just do this right here. Where is it? There we go. All right, so right here on the gain, all right, so I just, all I did was click on uh, the Pixar Displace right here, okay, find this gain. Now, on your version of uh, RenderMan, the gain will have a slider. See, this version doesn't have a slider. Um, and if you take the gain down on the skull, it'll make it look uh, a little bit more normal. So if you go down to like 0.75 or 0.6 or something like that, um, the skull will look a lot better. So I would ask you, you know, you try and re-render it, play with the gain right here. Okay, again, that's, uh, you just have to find the displacement node right there, um, and that should open up in your attribute editor. Um, and let's see what else. I think that was it. So smooth it out, play with the gain on that right there. 
and do the same thing on this guy right here. So do it on the skull and do it on this guy right here. See if you get a different result. Okay, I can't I can't really duplicate what you've got because my version of render man's different so I can't do it um, and you can see it just comes in all weird it's all bright and uh, it's it's like it doesn't respect the materials you have I, I don't know it's just really weird so um, this again I, I, I'm not trying to get you out of uh, doing render man but I, I would encourage you to explore Arnold if you've never done an Arnold render um, you should try it at least once all right you, you deserve uh, you know you owe it to yourself because you like I say you're good at this stuff Arnold is way easier than Render Man. Um, not trying again. I'm not trying to convince you. I just want you to try it. Okay? Maybe do the skull over an Arnold just to see how it goes. All right. Follow my instructions on the videos, um, and you should be able to do it no problem. All right. So you're doing fine. Uh, I've got nothing really to say except you know double check this piece here. Um, your your bike your model looks excellent. So just uh, work on getting a good render. Um, and that's all I've got to say. Okay, so hopefully that uh, gives you what you need. If you have any other uh, questions, uh, please let me know. Okay, thank you.